boys and girls, welcome to Art with Miss Esme. Today I have a super fun project to do. We are going to do it based on one of the Dr. Seuss books, The Lorax. It's one of my favorite Dr. Seuss books. It talks about saving the environment and helping the trees. So I really, really love this book. Unfortunately, I can't read it to you guys on YouTube, but there are other people who do have read-alouds of this on YouTube. And the Dr. Seuss Lorax movie, the original one, is on YouTube and it's about like 20 or 30 minutes long. I love, love, love that movie. So go ahead and check that out if you can. And we'll jump into the art project in a little bit. We have two different art projects today. I have a finger painting one. So if you have finger paint at home, you could do this one. Or I have a tissue paper one. If you have any tissue paper, it makes the trees look 3D. This is one of my favorite techniques with tissue paper because it makes it look fluffy, like fur, and I really, really love that. So go ahead and keep watching. I'll leave timestamps below and the materials that you need for each art project. All right, so the first project we're gonna do is going to be with the tissue paper. I got mine from the Dollar Tree. You get a bunch for just a dollar. So I'm going to use this blue one. I'm just going to cut a little bit. About this much. I'm going to cut this into three strips. I'm going to have one strip, two strips, and then three strips. strips they don't have to be perfect and I'm gonna put them one on top of the other and we're gonna cut them into squares they're gonna be about an inch big so about this size you're gonna cut it all up so I cut up all my tissue paper I chose three colors I have blue yellow and pink now we're gonna start making our project Okay, the first thing we're gonna work on is making the background. I'm gonna make some hills. Those are gonna be my hills. I'm gonna color them in. You could use markers, crayons, color pencils. You can even use paint, whatever you have. I only had markers right now. And on top of my hills, I'm going to make the trunk of our truffle of trees. I'm going to put them at different spots. I'm going to have three truffle of trees. So I'm going to have one right here. One right here. And I'll put one over here. Cool. Truffle trees, they have stripes on them. Mine are going to be black and yellow stripes.
that's going to be my background. And here comes the fun part. We're going to start using the tissue paper. So I have my yellow, my pink, and my blue. I'm going to make my first tree a yellow tree. Okay. For this, you're going to need a pencil. You can use a colored pencil, anything that has a flat bottom. You're going to grab one piece of tissue paper. You're going to put it against the bottom. And you're going to wrap the tissue paper around. Okay. And you're going to get your glue. Chocolate trees are in a circle shape, so we're going to make this into a circle. I'm just going to put glue on a little bitty part. We're going to do a little bit at a time. You're going to stick your pencil down and your tissue paper should be staying up like that. We're going to keep doing this until you get the shape of the truffle tree that you want. You can add glue as you need to add glue. I like doing it a little bit at the time so it doesn't dry up. we're going to do is going to be finger painting. I found these really cool finger paints at Walmart. They had glitter inside of it. And I also found these plain ones at the Dollar Tree. They had a bunch of colors too. And then I also got this paint pad from Walmart. It was like $2. All right, I have my paper ripped out. You do not have to rip your paper out. I'm just doing it because it's a little bit easier for me to do it this way. Okay. Just like last time, we are going to start with the background. So I'm going to do my hills first. I'm going to do my paint without the glitter first.
I'm going to tap into the one that has the glitter. If you don't have glitter paint, you don't need the glitter paint. I'm just doing it because I had it. You could also put newspaper underneath so you're not getting your tables dirty or any other scratch paper that you have. I like using the tablecloths from the Dollar Tree because they're plastic and you can, it won't soak through to the other side. There's my hills. Important thing for finger painting, make sure you have a napkin so you don't mix all your colors up. Get all that color off. It's basically all off. I have some glitter on my nail. Okay, just like last time, we are gonna start with the trunk. I'm gonna use two fingers this time. So I'm gonna do black, I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to skip some space. I'm going to get my other finger and I'm going to do yellow. I'm going to put the yellow in between those spaces. I'm going to shape them a little bit. Put one more yellow. All right, there's one tree. I'm going to do two more. Alright, so I'm done with the black and yellow, so I'm going to wipe it off. And then I'm going to make my truffle of trees. I'm going to use my glitter paint for this one. The first one I'm going to go ahead, I'll do purple. Okay. So for this, you're going to want to start up here in the middle. You're going to kind of use the tip of your finger to drag it and move the paint around. Okay, I'm going to put some more paint and do the same thing. And you can keep adding paint if you want a little bit darker, but I like how this looks right now. I'm going to switch colors.
projects with me and hopefully I'll see you for the next one.